Hey designers, today I'll show you how to add data into your designs. As an example, I'll use Pokemon data to create many Pokemon cards. So why bother going all this trouble inputting all this data? It could be useful when doing user testing if you have real data inputted in your designs or seeing how it looks with real data, especially for SaaS apps. So let's get started. First, what you need is designs, right? So I have prepared some cards that we would use to add some data into it. The next thing you will need is a plugin. The plugin is called JSON to Figma and we'll use this to import the JSON data and add it to your designs. The last part would be data. I have used GraphQL Pokemon APIs to get the JSON data. I'll leave the JSON data in the description below. Now let's create some Pokemon. As practice, we'll use this simple example with one image and just a name. I'll first run the JSON to Figma plugin and then it'll ask me how you would load the data. I will choose from local file. And I have the data set 2, which has a lot of data inside. Here you could see that the keys show up on top and how much data that is inside. So for this one, I would choose name and image that I'll be using. And also, if you check the layers, the layer image is name the same as the key also for the name here so you just need to match the key and the layer name to add the data then let's test that out populate selected now you see it works then let's go and create a lot of pokemon i'll duplicate a lot of them so I'll select all of it and populate selected. Then you see all the data being populated. So it's really easy to add data with JSON to Figma. The next example would be using this card. So maybe let's take a look at what it's inside the data. If you see here, you have ID, number, name, weight, height, classification, and a lot of data is inside. And you can see that the image is from a URL that is on the web. Run JSON to Figma again. Get the file, Pokemon Data 1. And you see that all different keys are loaded, right? So let's check what's inside. For example, weakness here, weaknesses 0, you should name it the same what you want so what I have here is a little cheat sheet that I used to add the data so I have the name type classification HPCP weight resistance two types of it uh, weakness and the number and also the image so here you can see that I always name it the exactly the same for example types see types dot the brackets zero and I name it the same. So I'll select all of it, what I want. So I have number, name, classification, types, resistance zero and one. So one and two, weaknesses, max CP, max HP, and the important thing, image. So let's test that out. I'll use populate selected, click on it. Then you see that it works. So now I have 151 data here. So maybe I create a lot of them. I think this might be enough. And then I'll select all of it and populate selected. And then it'll follow the layer order and add all the data here. Or you could also randomize the order like so and add the data like so most important thing to remember is getting the right data set so if you import some of the data you need to see if it works and have the correct keys added and then you would have a design which you would have layers that match what you want to add and for the image it would fill the image but it needs to be a url hope you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and support the channel. Then, see you next time. Bye-bye.